the Star City of the South, ready to unravel some more mysteries of Roanoke's history. I'm Daniel. And I'm Abby. And, and we're the Star City Sleuths. of the southern United States. As early as 1754, people were riding their wagons down what is now Williamson Road, right in the heart of downtown Roanoke. People traveling the Great Wagon Road like to settle around the Salt Licks. In 1852, a railroad was laid through the town of Big Lick. With the Great Road and the railroad, Big Lick became a happening place to be. Streets began to cover the licks, and it said that those streams that pushed the big salt lick to the surface all those years ago are still running underneath the city today. Even though it hasn't been called Big Lick in over 100 years, Roanokers still remember that name. We found plenty of big licks around the valley. Big Lick Junction, Big Lick Vet, Big Lick Conspiracy, Big Lick Screen Printing, Big Lick Brewing Company, Big Lick Entertainment, Big Lick Seasonings, Big Lick Golf, Big Lick Ferret Shelter? In 1881, Frederick J. Kimball selected Big Lick as the junction for two major railroads. I remember him! The Frederick J. Kimball Fell. The people of Big Lick were so happy, they offered to name the town Kimball. But Frederick objected. And in 1882, the town chose the name Rono. The riverfront flowing near and around Big Lick is called the Roanoke River. It was named by the Algonquian Indians, and the name meant shell money. That's right. Roanoke was a type of wampum, or shell money, that the Native Americans used to trade. The Roanoke shells were the white ones that they got right from the river. We found some Roanoke wampum in the History Museum of Western Virginia, right here in Roanoke. While Roanoke grew so fast after Mr. Kemple brought the second railroad to, to town, that by 1900, it was the third largest city in, North, in Virginia. And it, so it earned itself the name Magic City. Roanoke turned from a town into a city almost by magic. We found some businesses that still remember that Roanoke is a magic city. Magic City Ford and Magic City Sprinkler. From Big Lick to Roanoke to the Magic City. But that's not all. In 1949, a star was born. On top of Mill Mountain, but that's for another show. That may be so, but that star earned Roanoke yet another nickname, the Star City of the South. Did you know Roanoke is not the only star city? There is also Star City, Arkansas, Star City, Illinois, Star City, Michigan, Star City, Nevada, Star City, West Virginia. And Lafayette, Indiana, and Lincoln, Nebraska are nicknamed the Star City. But Roanoke is the only Star City of the South. And it's the only one with an 88-foot neon star. 
It seems that Star City may be Roanoke's most popular nickname, considering how many businesses decided to use it. Star City Skate Center, Star City Auto Parts, Star City Games, Star City Realtors, Star City Radios, Star City Striders, Star City Tires, Star City Comedy Club, Star City Canine Club, Star City Greyhounds, Star City Tattoos, Star City Recycling, Star City Mystery Diner Theater, Star City Rentals, Star City Corvettes, Star City Music, Star City Shaggers, and the most important one, what? The Star City Sleuths! Well, that about wraps up our sleuthing for today. We hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and check us out on Spreadshirt. That's www.starcitysleuths.spreadshirt.com. And tell all your friends. And we'll see you next time on Star City Sleuths! That's www.starcitysleuths.spreadshirt.com. Tell all your friends. <laughs> and that was